He was deliberately starved, so he weighed just a stone and a half. He was regularly beaten, so his tiny body was covered in bruises. It was a head injury that eventually killed four-year-old Daniel Pelka. Today, his mother, Magdalena Wuschak, and her partner, Mariusz Kreszelek, were both found guilty of his murder. This CCTV shows Magdalena collecting Daniel from school, but he isn't holding her hand. Circled in green, he's the one walking several metres behind. Hours later, he suffered a serious head injury. But his mother texted her boyfriend saying there was no point calling an ambulance. Instead, they googled what to do when a child doesn't respond. Eventually, two days later, his mother called 999. All right, what's the problem? Listen, what's me. Oh, listen my son, my son, he, he stopped breathing. He got four years here. Yeah? And I, and we wake up and he stop, he stop, he stop breathing, he sent me... OK, what's, some... he do, what's he doing now? Is he breathing? <laughs> no, he's not breathing, okay. nothing. Daniel was pronounced dead at hospital. We're dealing with a four-year-old little boy and as they starved him, uh, as he became thinner and thinner, um, he became even more vulnerable and he was beaten by, by grown adults. In this house in northeast Coventry, the couple carried out a campaign of cruelty. While his siblings were well treated, Daniel was locked in a room just a few feet wide. This door was covered in his tiny fingerprints. The handle had been removed, so he couldn't escape. There was no furniture other than some threadbare carpet and a very thin mattress which was heavily urine stained. It was pretty bleak and it must have been a terrible existence and we know that he spent a lot of time in that room. Daniel was regularly subjected to a series of punishments. He was forced to kneel down in a corner for up to 20 minutes or made to do squats repeatedly and he was force fed salt, all because he was hungry and had taken some food. This footage shows him in a school corridor Teachers saw him eating leftovers from the bins and taking food from other children's lunchboxes. The couple's text messages helped convict them. Wushak once wrote, Well, now he's temporarily unconscious because I nearly drowned him. Throughout the trial, they blamed one another for Daniel's murder. We'll probably never know who inflicted the fatal blow or why this little boy was so cruelly treated but both of them will now face justice for his death.